Welcome back. Well, we spend a lot of time talking about the economic numbers, GDP, non-farm payrolls coming up, Federal Reserve. Uh, but at the end of the day, we should really also make note of the market action itself because the price behavior can really give us clues as far as uh, you know the current situation. Here's current treasuries. Uh, the four-month uh, T-note here has a 562 yield, the six-month 557, the three-month at a 561. Very, very high yields, especially when you take into consideration a 10 years at a 473, nearly a 100 basis point inversion where the short-term maturities are paying a lot more than the longer term. Notice, by the way, though, that the 10 year is really being kind of left out of the party. The 20 years up to a 505 and the 30 years up to a 487. So we're seeing a surge in the very long-term yields and a maintenance in the very short-term yields, uh, but the short-term maturities, we should say. But the 10-year, the 7-year, the 5-year are really being left out of the game. This is the one-month percentage change in treasuries. Now, it's the percentage change, you know, from 5% to 5.5. It's not, you know, these aren't the yields. But notice what's happened here. The 30-year bond is up 12% in yield in the past 30 days. The 20-year up 11%, the 10-year up 11% as well. 10 years actually rising too. But we'll notice that the all the movement in the past month in the treasuries has been in yield on the longer end of the spectrum. Now, what's happening is that the Federal Reserve has thought that they may continue to raise interest rates, maybe at least one more meeting. But as a result, the expectation is that over the long term, we're going to have higher interest rates. Maybe the bond market's telling us over the long term, we expect a healthy economy or a healthier economy than what we, what we imagined in the past. You see, when we take a look at the short-term maturities, we say, okay, that's what the bond market think, thinks is going to happen in the near-term future, the longer-term maturities, what their long-term outlook is. Now, this is graphically what has happened over the past three months. Notice at the top of the chart, these are all the short-term yields. The dotted uh, yellow line over here, that's the six-month. The jagged uh, purple line over here, that's the one-year. Uh, the red line as well, that's a four-month. So these really have kind of stayed put. They haven't really moved. What has been the big acceleration? The dotted 10-year, or the dotted red line, that's the 10-year. The white line, that's the 30-year. The green line, that's the 20-year. So the long-term maturities are racing up to meet the short-term maturities. Eventually, we may have a flat yield curve where the long-term maturities pay as much as the short-term. But flat yield curves are very unusual. It's not something that's considered to last very long. And it's usually an inflection point of something big to come. Here we see, this goes back to 2001 through 2009, just to give us a little bit of historical perspective. Remember that the yields on, especially the longer term bonds, like the 10-year, tend to move historically in the same direction as stocks. The blue line is the S&P 500. The purple is a 10-year yield. And we can see 2002, 3, 4, the economy was strong. We were recovering. And as a stock market rallied, so did the 10-year yield. And when the yield went down, so did the stock market as well. Historically, there's a pretty strong correlation because the bond market, it, when the stocks are, stock market's strong, the bond market has to compete. So it offers higher yield. In other words, Traders are saying, investors, oh, we don't want to buy a, a bond, you know, so they sell the bonds, the bond price goes down, and the bond yield by the mechanics of the bond market goes up. Bond yields and stocks tend to move in the same direction. Well, take a look what's happening now. The white line is the S&P 500, seen a lot of weakness lately. The purple line is a 10-year. They're moving in opposite directions, and the one-year, one-month, they're not doing anything at all. So. This is not a natural occurrence, at least historically speaking. These two lines can diverge from time to time, but historically speaking, bonds and stocks, the bond yields and stocks tend to go in the same direction. So we should note that while we see a tremendous amount of growth in the yield on the long-term uh, bonds, we're seeing a very weak stock market. That's not something we normally expect to see. And to put this in perspective, uh, we see here the 10-year, 
is the blue line. The one year is uh, the red line. We are at levels we have not seen in a very long time. The 10 year now is at levels we have not seen going back to 2007. The red line, the one year, is at levels we have not seen since 2006, maybe even back to 2000. Now, what this means, well, it's the anticipation that we're going to see higher interest rates, at least in the near-term future. But we know what goes up can go down, and usually, well, eventually will. You know, we saw this take place in 2007. We saw this take place in the 1990s as well. Now, it's not to say we're going to follow the exact same pattern as before, but we can see that there certainly is a tremendous, tremendous growth in yield, and eventually this will, you know, reverse course. Now, with that said, again, uh, and I think really this is the point, something to be very aware of, the red line, the 10 years going up, the black line, the S&P is going down. Uh, historically speaking, we tend to see a strong correlation, not really lately, uh, but historically speaking, that is the case. So we should be aware that the markets are somewhat disjointed and that, you know, eventually there will be a return to normalcy, a return to correlation, a regression to the mean, however we want to, you know, consider it. But the fact of the matter is, um, you know, we're seeing something that's a little unusual and we should be aware of it. And we'll be sure to update you along the way. You know, maybe tomorrow could be quite interesting uh, with the non-farm payrolls uh, uh, scheduled as well. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.